Hello, welcome back. I have a piece of rhodium today I want to show you. I want to show you these nice bared bars, how we verify them, and what they look like and tell you more about them. So we'll be going through the electronic tests in just a minute, but just to give you some background on rhodium, uh, what it's used for, how rare it is. Basically, it is used as a catalyst in chemical reactions. It's probably most well known as electroplating on white gold to give it a super shiny, reflective, mirror-like finish that is actually only temporary because over time the plating actually wears off and it becomes more dull with the regular white gold underneath. And it can be redipped um, to, to get to restore it, but that's a very common use. It's also used in electrical contacts uh, to, because it's got very low resistance. Um, it's it's used in optical and X-ray instruments, and it is used autom in the automotive industry. It's used in headlight reflectors, and it is also actually used in neutron detectors and nuclear reactors to de detect neutron flux. So that's interesting. As far as the rarity of rhodium, rhodium actually is the most rare of all of the precious metals. And as of this recording, it was trading at over $10,000 per ounce of the stuff. So this little piece that we're showing you um, right now, that's going to be that's one tenth of an ounce is valued. It depends. It's rhodium is not traded as bullion that often. It's it's hard to actually move rhodium, but is as of now it's valued at about twelve hundred dollars per for, for this little one tenth of an ounce piece all right i've tried to get as much of the sigma in the frame as i can so you can see the screen and the testing surfaces so uh, i wanted to show you that you can in fact test for rhodium on this this uh, guy as well and you see we set to rhodium and we put the rhodium in place under the small tester because this is only a tenth of an ounce and you can see um, basically it goes right into the green and both of the numbers are very close together right here that's a very good indication that you have good rhodium all right let's go ahead and put this into the XRF see how it reacts put that in there go ahead and close I'll go ahead and start and I'll kind of zoom in so you can see 99.9 rhodium detecting some other metals but those are within the tolerance of the margin of error that it's detecting that's the number on the right side so you can see it's within the margin of error and there are probably other things I'm, I'm my XRF is not perfectly clean but it's detecting other trace metals a little palladium cadmium so um, that's how it reacts that's one way that we can tell that this is good good in fact rhodium So this is a Baird and Company bar. It, it, they're based out of London, and um, it, it doesn't come super shiny, as you can tell. It's kind of a rough look to it. Uh, Pamp also makes a one-ounce version of this bar, and I've seen that, and it's much prettier as far as you know having a nice piece of bullion in your hand. Um, and as far as treating rhodium as bullion, it's the... It's the only metal that I have had a kind of a difficult time in moving, at least at, at the time of this in September of 2020. There are not a lot of refineries that are looking to buy this. Um, Kitco, for instance, will only buy it if you actually bought rhodium from them. Um, I will say Atmex is not buying anything made of rhodium right now, that, and I, I don't even believe they're selling anything made of rhodium. And I'm sure it has something to do with the extreme price of it. You know, trying to find somebody that wants an ounce of rhodium for $14,000 is not exactly, not a lot of people out there looking to, to get into it. Um, but with that said, it is one of the rarest metals. So, you know, you, you never really know where it's going to go. It seems like it's been, in 2020, it's been on a, a freight train going up. And um, I think I saw the, the, the ask on Kitco. It was almost $14,000 for this stuff, but you can't really demand that. There is going to be, 
if if you're trying to just trade it as bullion, you can't really demand that much. You're going to you're going to get under spot for it. Well, that's about it for this video. This one's kind of short. We got that that bar in. It's the first piece of rhodium that uh has come through uh our our store since uh we've been open just over 7 years now. So it, it, we just don't see it often. We've seen everything else, palladium, platinum, all that stuff. Just rhodium, not you don't see it often at all, and it's not traded much at all. Um, and as far as bullion is concerned, I I don't I don't know I I don't really recommend it as as bullion, especially at the at the prices that that it's at. I mean, a metal being at two thousand dollars, and then the same year jumping up to thirteen thousand four hundred dollars, that uh, that kind of would worry me a little bit. Now, I mean. Can it go up further? Sure it can. It's the most rare of all of the, the precious metals. So you honestly never know. There are plenty of, of needs and uses for it. But I, I don't know. It's not one of my favorite metals. Okay, well, thank you for watching. I hope this was educational or helpful to somebody somehow. That's my purpose in doing these. So um, I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks for watching.